you doing, Faye? I, uh, I'm about to make some chamfers. Because I just went through and, like, cleaned them all. And, uh, and, you know, I was actually noticing, like, man, the edges are, like, super sharp. And then Danny, who's on the other side of this camera right now, uh, noticed it too. And I was just, I didn't realize that there was a solution for it. And the solution is this amazing tool. So here is the after. That's the one that Danny did. And here is the before. Do you see it's, like, all messed up? And then can cause some damage. So what I'm doing is I'm just going in with this fancy freaking tool, which is, I've never, I've never seen one of these before. So this is new to me. And uh, this chamfering tool. And I'm going to get it on there and really nice and straight. <laughs> caught my eye is because you can see the burr on it you know I was like what the heck and there's no yeah. there's no chamfer they deck the block and everything is super sharp and of course it's a brand new block and you start one of the first things we do they're about to go to the back and you got four hours of prep per block and the problem with not chamfering this is gonna be a race motor you know and it can crack you, you you'll crack it from from there so we want to go through and right we're gonna chamfer Wait, how will every it single crack? one how, how will it crack because it gets pulled up as you're it, it gets pulled up but when there's a sharp edge yeah now it can actually that little jagged edge right there has little places where a fracture can start just because it's so sharp right there oh. oh if you put a little bevel around every one of these it can flex and not ever start to crack but right now when they machined it there's all those you can feel them i mean there's sharp edges everywhere this thing has you know little burrs on it. Ew. You know, let's oh, cut yourself. Whoa. Yeah. So when they when they detect it, all those edges are, are extremely sharp. And on mine, it's the same way. Now I'm stressed about it. <laughs> what the heck it, is that? That's the chamfering tool. That's oh the, God, the correct beautiful. angle on everything. Wow. And for what we're doing here, we we can use a drill and do a drill. You could literally just and not get a bunch of crap anywhere, and you could just do it by hand. But. Ooh. Wow. See that little bitty chamfer? That's all it needs. It doesn't need to be a huge chamfer. That's the thing about it is it does not need to be huge. All you need to do is just take off the first little tread on top. Now when it gets torqued, it's not going to pull that up just like it did on the other block. Right. I love learning about all the machining stuff that goes into engine building. It's just like stuff that you would never think about that is so important. It doesn't affect anything. Like you're not going to make any horsepower doing this, but it is going to make it durable. Man, look at that. That's it. All right. You want to just get rid of the, the, the one... Just that, That's like it. the, the, the one, top thread. The, yes. Yeah, no, I got it. Cool. All right, I feel confident. I'm ready. All right, let's see how confident you are. And I'm really nervous because I've never done this before. And on camera. And on camera. So here we go. I'm just going to take it really, really, really freaking slow here. Really slow. I'll probably end up speeding this up because it's No, so I, you can actually feel it working. And... I can feel it working, yeah. And I'm speeding it up a little bit. Ooh! Oh my god, that's perfect! Oh wow! I had noticed the chamfers before on other engine blocks, but I didn't know how they were made. I didn't know that you can make them yourself like this. I mean, it makes it makes sense, but it's never, you know, you don't, you don't know until you know, you know? So, <laughs> here you go. Okay. And you can see that, um, you can see that everything's taped off. And everything's even taped off on the side. So I'm not gonna get any metal chunks in my dipstick or the turbo feed return or where the oil filter should go or anywhere else. So we're, we're playing it safe here, folks. I haven't got my safety glasses on. This is like as safe as I'm gonna get ever. <laughs> Except for the fact that I've got a freaking huge drill bit on my <laughs> cylinder block. It's not stressful at all. But I kinda like, it's kinda got a rough finish. I wanna go back with something and like, Smooth it with something. I don't if you know, go you know too fast, you? you'll actually feel it chatter. Oh, so if you go slower, it'll do a smoother. It depends on the pressure you're pushing down and the speed, and that's just all personal preference. It takes you a while just to just learn to, to not get a chatter. Because yeah. I don't want a, a, a chatter having little sharp edges, because that's why we're chamfering it, so we want to have sharp edges. Absolutely. Yeah, a chatter on anything is freaking negative. Mm hmm. That resonant frequency. <laughs> Not really the same thing, but close enough. You know, it probably causes the chatter, is part of the resonant frequency. I mean, it's all related, it's answered mm -hmm. everything, so. Hmm, I think, I think I'm satisfied. You know what, I made them so much more extreme than yours. Look how yours is subtle and I'm just like, Bleh! That's okay. That's because it's uniform. Look how I mean, it looks. <laughs> I know what people are going to think, but that's sexy. That looks good. <laughs> I mean, Ooh, that's, I know. <laughs> I, that's, that's what I hope someone's going to come up to me and be like, Faye, your, your, your chambers are really attractive. I'll be like, Thank you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this weird vlog slash um, also kind of informative video. <laughs> uh, and I'm super sorry for like all the really short videos I've been putting out recently, but I've had a lot going on in my life. So I haven't had a lot of time to edit, but things are getting back to normal. So I will resume normal posting and normal length videos shortly, won't I? One day, Artemis. Um, and speaking of a lot of crazy things going on in my life, I have a couple of public service announcements. The first is that if anyone recognizes this person, <coughs> who stole cash and tools from my shop, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, the second is you may have noticed that uh, there is now a merch shelf going on on my YouTube channel, so we now have merch. And uh, what did you do to your nose? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what did you do to your nose? Um, but yes, merch. You can buy t-shirts with me and chicken bum. It's amazing. Um, and gonna be adding new stuff all the time, and that really, really, really helps this channel out immensely. It also helps out the artist, Sammy, who created this amazing art, and all the art that will be coming soon. So I have a bunch of designs in the works. These are just a few, so that is also an exciting piece of news. And lastly, my dear friend Danny and co-collaborator on this video and also many of my other videos has like officially started his YouTube channel. And he's gonna be uploading his first video this week. So it'd mean a lot to me if you went and subscribed to him as well. Link is in the description. And uh, get him to a thousand subscribers as soon as possible so that he can get his channel off the ground. She's just falling asleep in my arms. Actually, I don't know, but now that I'm looking at the screen, I see if this eye is open, but this eye is closed. That's a very chickeny thing to do. When they're on the edge of like a branch or whatever, and they're like all sleeping together, the one on the end will only sleep with half its brain and like have one eye open. I actually don't know if that's really true. It's just something that I heard. This video should end. Okay, I know, I know, it's time. It's time for this video to end. Okay, bye.